Hello friends, Jenkins here, and this is DHL Pro Tips. A Dispel in Dota 2 is a mechanic that causes the forced removal of status effects. Depending on the Dispel, this can work both ways, on enemy buffs or allied debuffs. Doom, for example, dispels most positive effects upon the enemy when it's cast. However, quite obviously, Doom cannot be cast on allies to dispel negative effects. Oracle's Fortune's End, though, is a dispel that works both ways. It can be cast on allies to remove negative status effects or cast on enemies to remove positive ones. In fact, it can do both at once if you hit both allies and enemies in an AoE. But both Doom and Fortune's End are only basic dispels, not strong dispels. As a general rule, basic dispels remove non-ultimate slows and silences, whereas strong dispels remove everything that basic dispels do, with the addition of the majority of the stuns in the game. Because most strong dispels are self-cast, it makes heroes that can apply targeted strong dispels very powerful. Legion Commander and Abaddon, for example, are often picked exclusively because they can do this, but it's not just spells that apply dispels. Yule Scepter, for example, is a cheap item that can apply a basic dispel to you or an enemy. Nullifier is one of the best items in the game because it continuously applies a basic dispel, meaning that it proactively dispels Eon Disk, Force Staff, Yule Scepter, Glimmer Cape, and Ghost Scepter making it the ultimate support killing item. Manta Style and Satanic are great in situations where you need an instant self dispel on a carry hero. Lotus Orb is great on an offlane or support hero because it can be cast on allies and it makes you insanely tanky. Guardian Greaves is great on similar type heroes, but the dispel only applies to yourself with the addition of being able to heal your team. Probably the best source of self-dispel on an item in the game is Flicker, not only because it repositions you safely, but because it has an absurdly low 4-second cooldown. 